Our prize is set to return this fall to downtown Grand Rapids, and venue registration is now underway. Here to tell us all about it is our prize executive director, Craig Searer. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. So tell us how venue and artist registration will work this year. Yeah, it's all going to work very similarly to that, to the way it has actually in the uh, in the past. But this year we have a new system, um, and venue registration opened up this actually today at 8 a.m. And we've already had a lot of venues commit to art prize this year it's all within the district so if the venues have a question are they in the art prize boundaries uh, head over to the website and go to the venue section and scroll down to the district and you'll see if your business can be within the boundaries it sounds like there's a lot of excitement already. Have you guys gotten a lot of responses? We have. Uh, we've got lots of emails from uh, artists and venues and visitors uh, all around Art Prize. Uh, very excited to have it come back this year. It was a very easy decision for the staff and the team to make. Yeah, it was very busy when I went down there last year. I think my favorite thing was the mailboxes down yeah. on Monroe. It was so cool. So I know that there were some changes last year to mm -hmm. how the prize money was given out. Can you tell us how things will work this year? Yeah, I can give you a little bit of an insight. Um, so we have $250,000 that will be deployed uh, this year to artists. Um, part of that is through the juried system. Uh, and we have five categories this year, 2D, 3D, time-based, and install. Those are the four that we've always had. We have a new one this year for digital. Um, so digital is gonna be a really cool and exciting category for us. Um, and then the rest of the prize money will be through uh, basically the visitor interaction and how they're interacting with uh, the art and artists themselves. Okay, and I know that that was something new last year. Did it go pretty smoothly for you guys? Uh, yeah, we had some hiccups uh, here and there, but uh, we, we, learned, uh, we learned a lot. Um, and um, some things that we're going to do differently this year uh, that we didn't that we didn't do last year, um, and kind of massage and kind of tune the piano, so to speak. Okay. Now I know that there are some important dates coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about what we should expect in the next few weeks and months? Yeah. Uh, venue registration, as I mentioned, kicked off today, and that goes to the 21st. Um, artist registration uh, starts the last week of April. Uh, and goes uh, for a number of weeks and then connections process kind of that dating game between venues and artists uh, and that will run until uh, about June 28th. Okay. Are there any other changes that people should know before they head downtown this coming fall? Uh, you know, our focus this year is on the visitor experience. So we're trying to do as much as we possibly can to make sure that when a visitor comes downtown, they have as much information as possible to experience as much as they can on that particular day of Art Prize. Or if they want to plan their trip, uh, you know, there'll be some planning activities uh, that come out before Art Prize to make the most of their experience. Okay, I know we missed out on Art Prize for a couple of years mm -hmm. and people were super excited about it last year. How are you guys feeling about it this year? Very, very excited. We've got a little bit longer runway uh, to make things happen. Um, so uh, again, that visitor experience is super important to us to make sure that they're having uh, really a, an amazing time downtown Grand Rapids. All right, Craig, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. All right.